Another question I've often been asked, which is better, a picosecond laser or a carbon dioxide laser for pigmentation? I tell my patient it depends. A picosecond laser targets brown pigmentation. It's not ablative, it doesn't damage the surface of the skin, it penetrates into the skin and breaks the pigmentation. We use that for melasma, for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It is excellent for pigments that are inside the skin. The carbon dioxide laser is a cutting laser. Its target is water, it hits the surface skin cells, vaporizes it, and you basically have a hole. It's really good for removing moles, seborrheic keratosis, and we use it a lot for deep acne scars because it resurfaces the skin. It's a very good laser for Caucasian skin. But in Asian skin, you get brown spots on your face after the procedure. It's very common when we go strong with a carbon dioxide laser. And so you get more pigmentation. So what's the point? I prefer to use a cold laser. It's called an erbium. It's much safer for Asian skin.